whitetails, I don't think there's anything that gets my heart pumping quite like they do. To take it up a notch, well, my next favorite thing is decoying whitetail. To me, that's the best. I can't even believe it right now. Ben and I had been out all summer and we started seeing a nice buck. All of a sudden we look up and there is that monster buck. He lets out a snort wheeze. And if my heart wasn't pounding through my chest before, well, it was now. And it literally goes under him. And I thought, oh my god, I missed. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I cannot let this deer get away. Growing up in central Minnesota, whitetails are by far my favorite thing to go after. I love hunting elk and going after moose, mule deer, you name it. But whitetails, if I get something that's going to be a really big buck to go after, I don't think there's anything that gets my heart pumping quite like they do. Now to take it up a notch, well, my next favorite thing is decoying whitetails. And in my opinion, South Dakota is probably the best place that I've ever been to decoy whitetails. Now it might be because I'm usually there during the run. I'm hitting it spot on and I put my Dave Smith decoy out and the bucks just come flying in. Wow, look at the size of these tines. When he came in, all I could see is points. He's a mainframe eight, just an awesome buck. And when it starts working, well, then you become confident in it, use it more, and it's incredible the kind of luck you can have. So for years, I've hunted East River, I've hunted the Rosebud Reservation, I've hunted all different places, and in every location, I've had incredible luck with the decoy. water source and a lot of deer have been coming to this but hoping it'll be good. Now the location that Ben and I were set up in, I probably have more confidence in this spot than anywhere else I've ever hunted. In fact just a couple years before I had been on stand on a super windy day and I had the big unicorn buck that we had been seeing. He had an extra double main beam there he was, staring at our decoy. And this buck was locked in on it. And I thought, oh, this is perfect. So I just waited, figured I had all the time in the world, got to full draw, ready to make the shot. And a big wind picks up, the brush goes flying off the top of the blind, and that buck spooked away. That was the only time I saw that deer, but it was right at this exact spot. You're not just going to decoy in a big giant buck, the first buck that comes through. Usually there's going to be a lot of smaller bucks that come in. 
So you want to make sure that one, you've got a good wind from your blind to where your decoy is, and you also want to position it because these bucks are usually going to come in and they're going to parallel walk it, so you want that broadside shot. Closed captioning provided by DSG Outerwear. Doing something great for women in the outdoors by outfitting with the ultimate in fit, function, warmth, and comfort in women's hunting gear. Designed specifically for women, by women. Outfitting every season from sizes extra small to 5XL. Visit DSGOuterwear.com to locate a retailer near you. This segment was brought to you by Sportsman's Alliance. Our heritage, our fight. Protecting hunting from coast to coast. Alaska enjoys an abundance of habitat, well-managed game, and is extremely friendly towards sportsmen. Unfortunately, that's not always the case. The Sportsman's Alliance fights to keep management in the hands of trained biologists so that they can properly manage predators such as bears, wolves, and mountain lions, ensuring that healthy populations of game are available for the future. Just another fun fact. Now so far, the season, it has been tough. I think I went nine or 10 hunts in a row where I was not successful. So it's easy to get down, but I also knew that November was coming up and that is your bread and butter. Because you know what, when November hits and the rut is on, these bucks are gonna be there and they can come at any time. I've seen tons of big bucks midday. We've seen trail cam pictures of them. So you wanna make sure that you're not back eating a sandwich and you're on stand instead. You want to get your human scent off that decoy. Now one thing I like to do is make sure that I'm completely spraying it down with scent killer gold. You don't want these deer to come in and then spook off. That's the last thing you need. I also like to put out different scents so that way you've got that big buck scent and put out estrus so that it smells like a hot doe is in the area. Now another thing is you really need to think about how far away from your blind you want it. Because a lot of times these bucks will go on the edge and you want to make sure that your decoy is close enough so even if they're 15, 20 yards from your decoy, you still have that shot. Now again, you don't want to be taking these in and out of the field if possible. So a lot of times if I'm going to be hunting there, I'll just cover it up with branches and leave it right there or stick it in my ground blind. That way your decoy is there, it's ready to go. And the key again is time in the field. So this year, we had really been putting in the time. This wasn't a hunt where I was just showing up and we were heading out. Ben and I had been out all summer putting in water holes, making sure that the deer had places that they wanted to be. We'd put in a water hole, we'd put a rub post up, we'd put a licking branch in, we'd put cameras out, and we were out checking these areas. So it really does change it. When you've put in that time, you start seeing the deer and you get excited. Well, it wasn't very long and we started seeing a nice buck. Now this buck was coming in and he was becoming pretty regular, but he had been coming in at night. He was coming to our water hole, coming to our licking branch, and I thought, this is awesome. To know that you've put in the time, you've done it, and now this buck is coming there because of you. Now all we needed were daylight pictures. And all of a sudden, one of the cameras gave us a beautiful daylight picture of this big buck. And we thought, we've got to get in there. He is now coming during the day. We have to be there. Decoys are a really fun way to go after whitetails, but there's a few things that you can do in your setup to make you more effective. First off, you want to think about where you're going to place your decoy. Now, even if you just set up a ground blind or you're in a tree stand, I like to have them about 10, 15 yards away. 
what you'll find is it'll take all the deer's attention off your blind and focus it right on your decoy. Now the reason I like to have it so close is because even if you get a buck that won't fully commit, maybe he's just coming in, checking out that decoy, you can still get potentially a 30, 40 yard shot with that setup. Now the other thing, remember that most bucks are gonna try to fight your decoy and come in head on. So plan your shot accordingly. Now I've also seen bucks stand right in front of that decoy pawn at the ground, and if that happens, make sure you have a broadside shot to take that animal. Now the next thing, what you're trying to do when you're using a decoy is basically fool whitetail senses. You're fooling three senses with a decoy. You've got the sound, when you're rattling, grunting, you're bringing them in. As soon as they come in, they see your decoy. The next step is to fool their sense of smell. Now the very first thing you need to do, spray your decoy down completely with scent killer gold. That way you can remove any human odor that you may have left on the decoy from setting it up. The next thing I do, I take a bottle of golden scrape, pour it on the ground and even on the decoy's hawks. That way, you've got that fresh smell of the scrape in the area. Next, I take Golden Esters Extreme or Golden Esters, put it on key wicks around the area, so that way you're also filling the air full of that Golden Esters smell. So now you've got a wide variety of things, and when you bring those bucks in, don't get too pushy. You're gonna have time. Wait till you get the perfect shot. That's the beauty of a decoy. They are locked in on it, it gives you time to calm your nerves and to get the perfect shot. This segment was brought to you by Boss Buck. For the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market, choose Boss Buck Feeders. Now you're getting serious. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Hard-Hitting Easton Arrows, Golden Triangle Whitetail, Winchester, the American Legend, National Deer Alliance, HHA Sports, the leader in single pin technology. Scent Killer Gold with Hunt Dry Technology Plus. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. Rage Broadheads, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Convergent Hunting Solutions, where experience, innovation, and passion meet. Spy Point Trail Cameras. Sportsman's Alliance, protecting hunting from coast to coast. Engel Coolers, the original high-performance cooler company. And Moose Utility Division, your leader in ATV UTV accessories. So we went in and we were sitting dark to dark. We had the decoy out, everything was right. And you know what? In the morning, a few bucks were coming through. But what's important is during the rut is one, having your decoy out, and two, sitting all day. and you really have to just always be aware because these big bucks, they can come through at any time. So we're sitting there, we've had a couple small bucks moving through, and I hear something over to the right, and you wouldn't believe it. An entire herd of cattle coming in. I'm thinking our hunt is over. There is not gonna be a deer around, but we've already been out there, we put in the time, why not stick it out? So I figured, you know what? We'll just sit it out and see what happens. And the key again is time in the field. You wanna sit as long as possible. The rut is on, these bucks are gonna be there and they can come at any time. Well, as we were sitting there, all of a sudden we look up and there is that monster buck right behind our decoy. And the good part is, even if you're caught a little off guard, well he is already locked into that decoy. was focused on that decoy and he was convinced that this was a buck he needed to beat up and get out of his area. All of a sudden, 
he lets out a snort weed. I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I cannot let this deer get away. And he starts walking, I get to full draw. I shoot, and it literally goes about that much under him. I thought, oh my god, I missed. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, the American legend. Matthews Archery. DSG Outerwear, doing something great. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Silent Legion Suppressors, embrace the silence. Everly Stock, go in light, come out heavy. Reinhardt, the best archery targets in the world. Garmin, enhance your outdoor adventures. Winchester, the American legend. Bino Dock, what a cup holder should be. Safari Club International, first for hunters. Redneck Blinds, the best hunting blinds on the planet. Waterhole, create water sources that attract and hold wildlife. And Boss Buck, for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market. Now you're getting serious. This segment was brought to you by Safari Club International, first for hunters. Show your hunter pride by joining today at safariclub.org. And that's the other bonus with the decoy, is if you do happen to miss, Buck doesn't even have a clue. Well, all of a sudden, he lets out a snort wing. And if my heart wasn't pounding through my chest before, well, it was now. And my heart sunk. I thought, you've got to be kidding me. This buck is gonna get away. I missed him. It's over all our hard work. And all of a sudden, we had one more lane. And that buck stopped right in there, absolutely perfectly broadside. I let an arrow go, mule kicked, and I thought, I am the luckiest person in the world. This was the big buck we were after. This was the buck we had pictures of. This is the buck we had been working for. And I had just placed a perfect shot on this deer. And I was so excited. Both Ben and I couldn't hardly believe it. These twos, threes, we have so many pictures of this buck and I am so happy to have my hands on him. Wow, what a beautiful South Dakota kid in here. <laughs> I was so excited and Ben was there, Bo, his brother was there, all of us were there. We had been tracking it and finding this deer, it truly was just one of the best feelings I had ever had. Bass. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, I am so happy. 
You know the best part about the whole thing? What's that? We decoyed him right to our decoy. <laughs> that was so awesome. This big old mature buck, I mean, he snort wheezed, he came in. Oh, that was awesome. We're out here in South Dakota, we're on the Rosebud Reservation, and this has been just an incredible hunt. Probably in the entire country, best deer hunting I've ever had over a decoy. This buck just came in. You can tell from the first giggle, yeah. licking his lips, and oh, this is awesome. Trail cam pictures. How many trail cam pics do you think? Dozens. Awesome. What a beautiful buck, and you know what? I'm pretty sure I had this deer last year, about 60 yards, spooked off, and now we got him down. <laughs> That's awesome. And it was amazing to be surrounded by all your friends and family, being right there, holding a buck that you had been after. It was an incredible what feeling. We, did, we decoyed this bucket. I sprayed the entire decoy down with scent killer gold, put different scents out, a little golden estrus, and that scent killer gold, this guy came right into the decoy. And this is how you find success. Great decoys keeping your scent to a minimum and we got a beautiful buck down. Truly a buck of a lifetime. My second biggest buck with a bow, tines that went on forever, a Boone and Crockett, and you know what? You don't give up and it all works out. Closed captioning is brought to you by Spy Point Trail Cameras. Stunning picture quality combined with leading cellular technology will keep you instantly in the loop right from your phone.